This brief video will introduce you to capacitance and how it affects cable testing, particularly high pot testing. Capacitors are created using two conductors separated by an insulator. Cable assemblies are created using wires separated by insulators. Since cables have a lot in common with capacitors, there are a few things you must keep in mind while testing cables. Capacitance increases when the distance between conductors decreases. Using thinner insulation will increase the capacitance between wires. Capacitance also increases when the surface area of the conductors increases. Double the length of a cable and you double the capacitance between its wires. Adding a shield to the cable also increases the capacitance. Shields within shields increase the capacitance even more. Let's look closely at what cable capacitance does during a high voltage test. A change in voltage between two wires causes a current to flow from one wire to the other. This seems incredible as current appears to pass right through the insulation, but rather than current flowing through the insulator, what really happens is that electrons build up on one conductor and are stripped from the other conductor. The amount of current depends upon the capacitance and the rate of change of voltage. If the voltage changes quickly, then the current will be higher. If the voltage changes slowly, the current will be lower. If DC high voltage is used, the cable's capacitance is charged to the test voltage. The tester raises the voltage slowly to keep the current low. After reaching the test voltage, the current drops to nearly zero. When the test is finished, the tester discharges the cable, bringing the voltage back to zero. When AC high voltage is used, the voltage is always changing, so the cable's capacitance is always charging or discharging. This means that current continues to flow into and out of the capacitance. The amount of current depends on the AC frequency and the amount of voltage. Since the capacitance of a cable assembly is charged up during high pot testing, it could be hazardous if an operator came into contact with the charged cable. To maintain operator safety, some cable testers limit the amount of capacitance that can be charged. Other test solutions are available when a conscious decision is made to exceed non-hazardous energy levels. But proper safety protocols must be taken, and in some cases this may require different test equipment. To consider our range of solutions, call us at 1-800-441-9910.